What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today bringing you guys another episode of the Upgraded Budget Series and today we are going to be talking about safeties. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, I wanna welcome you, but I also wanna make sure that you guys take a look in the, in the description below, because you're actually gonna find links to a couple other videos that we did in this series, where we talked about offensive line, linebackers, and we're gonna continue on and on until we're done with every single position in this game. So definitely take a look at those if you guys are interested and you like the content in this video. Now, what the essential concept of this video is, is that we take a look at cards that are not super budget cards, so not ones that are under like 3,000 coins, but ones that are kind of at that next level. Not quite to the elite level of card, but kind of somewhere in the middle. And, and you know, the cards that are still affordable for most people, but maybe not ones that are, you know, like I said, at the very top end of their position. So the reason that we do this is because I actually put together a budget series months ago on the channel where we went over some of those cards that were, you know, low, low priced and people were winning games with those teams and they were able to successfully put together rosters that are actually competitive against some of these significantly better teams for head-to-head -head seasons games. So what they're doing now is that they've assembled more coins into their bank and they're looking for upgrades on the cards that they previously had. So people have asked me to put together an upgraded budget series and that's what you guys are seeing here. Now today we're going to be focusing, like I said, on the safety position. So the first thing that we need to do is talk about the actual uh, categories that we're going to be looking into here. Now the first card that we're going to see is a playoff Earl Thomas. Now this is a 97 overall safety. He's a free safety and he's going for about 33,000 coins. Now this is gonna be the most expensive card in today's video. Like I said, I, I try to actually kind of give a couple different ranges at each position so that if you can't quite afford this, there's another card that'll be coming up here in the next slide that you guys might be able to afford. But let's talk a little bit at first about the categories. So in my opinion, there are nine important attributes that you need to look at. So the first one being speed. Second, strength. Third, acceleration. Then we move on to play recognition, catching, hit power, block shedding, man coverage, zone coverage. And then on the right-hand side, you're actually going to see the player's height and their price. So when you see these different categories here, and each one is kind of represented here with a color, the colors actually indicate whether that is a good attribute for the position or a bad attribute for the position. Most of them are going to be probably good because we're trying to give you the best card that we can, but you are gonna see some that are not so good and that means that's the yellow and ones that are bad. So in this case here, we are looking at the Earl Thomas and it has 93 speed, which is a great attribute for the safety position. There aren't many that are better than this. You combine that with the 94 acceleration and you have a very, very fast card, especially for user controlling. It's a nice card for doing that. Unfortunately, this card is not so good in the strength area. Now you might be thinking, what does strength really have to do with anything? Well, strength is important because it helps prevent you getting pancake blocked by the opposing team's wide receivers, tight ends, and maybe even offensive linemen that are going down the field. So when a player has good strength, that's gonna help them prevent that along with their block shedding. That's another thing that's important uh, in terms of playing against the run. And that, that's particularly important for these safeties because they're kind of your last line of defense if the opposing team makes a nice run or if even if they throw underneath and are breaking down the field for a touchdown. Your safeties need to be able to get in there and make the right plays. So unfortunately, this Earl Thomas card is not particularly good at stopping the run. Like I said, the block shedding at 61, not that great. Strength 62 is pretty bad, but it does make up for it in being one of the absolute best coverage safeties in this whole game. It has 94 zone coverage, which is crazy high for a, a safety. Then it also has 84 man coverage, which is incredible for a safety. There are not very many safeties that have either of those attributes, let alone both of them. It's pretty much the golden ticket uh, safety cards at this point, the ultimate legend safety cards, and then the better Earl Thomas cards. That's it. There just really aren't many safeties that are gonna be better than this in coverage. And that's why I really recommend this card. For me, safety should be a position where they're able to go up and knock away passes or they're able to go up and get interceptions, more importantly. 
So that's why I really like this Earl Thomas card. It has nice catching as well. And the play recognition is also very good at 91. So overall, this is a really excellent free safety card. He's only five foot 10, which is kind of just, it's almost at the level of being too short. Um, I almost put it as a red attribute, but I don't think it's quite that terrible because there are safeties that are shorter. But he's kind of, like I said, on the low end of being in the yellow range. So that is a little bit of a disadvantage as well because he's not going to be able to go up and make plays as well against the, the tall receivers like the Calvin Johnsons, the Randy Mosses, and those kind of things that people like to use. So that's another thing to consider. However, his man coverage and zone coverage are so good that, they, that he's kind of going to make up for that just in those attributes alone. So moving on now to the second free safety card, and this one's a little bit more affordable, like I said. So for 7,000 coins, you can get a very, very nice safety in Devin McCourty. This is an elite road to the playoff version of his card. He's only 93 overall, but he plays better than that. Remember when I mentioned how good Earl Thomas's man coverage was at 84? Well, Devin McCourty is on like a completely other level. This card is better than almost every single safety in the game when it comes to man coverage. Now, I know not a lot of people like to put their safeties in man coverage, and I typically don't either, but if you're somebody that would ever blitz another safety card, or if you're blitzing your linebackers or things like that, this is the kind of card that you might need to utilize to cover the opposing tight end. And that is actually an attribute that he has that most other safeties will not have. There's really, it, it's like the better Devin McCourty cards, Sparkle Earl Thomas, Ultimate Legend Sean Taylor, and I think that's about it when it comes to safeties that are better than this in man coverage. So again, this card is elite in that category. It's zone coverage 92 is also very, very good. Speed at 93 and acceleration at 94, both excellent attributes, not many better than it. Now where it does kind of struggle is that it does only have the 84 play recognition with 72 catching, which, you know, it's, it's not horrible, but it's not great. And then uh, just like the Earl Thomas, it's not particularly great against the run. It does actually only have 58 strength, which is very low for a safety. So it does get pancaked quite a bit. And the block shedding is only a 64. So, you know, if this is a, if you're going up against somebody that actually runs the ball a ton, maybe this isn't the best card for you. And you may want to try and find another safety that's better at stopping the run for those type of opponents. However, if you're going up against somebody that you know likes to sling the rock, this is the guy for you at 7,000 coins. It really does not get any better than this. He is an absolute monster in coverage. And I, I just, I can't really seem to find any cards that were anything better than this all the way up to like the 25,000 coin range. There just aren't many safeties that are better. So this is a very good deal at 7,000 coins. Moving on now to the strong safety position. And we're still going to be looking at the same attributes because for the most part, strong safety and free safety are pretty much interchangeable in Madden. Um, unlike in the real NFL where you do need, kind of need them to do different roles depending on your defense. In Madden, they're pretty much going to do mostly the same thing just on opposite sides of the field. So this card here. Strong safety, Mike Mitchell. This is the free agent edition as now he is a member of the Pittsburgh Steelers, formerly a member of the Carolina Panthers when this game first came out. But this is an absolute monster of a safety card. I mean, honestly, there are not many better safeties in this game other than when you start to get, like I said, into the ultimate legend and the golden ticket safety cards. Those are better. But when we're just looking at the standard cards that are under 100,000 coins, this is the man. Really, it really is. 94 speed. 94 speed for a strong safety with 95 acceleration. He has 92 hit power, so he can lay the lumber. He makes amazing plays and coverage with that 94 zone, and he still has pretty good man coverage at an 81. The only areas that he is not particularly great at are play recognition and catching. Now, the catching can be a little bit irritating at times, but he still doesn't have a terrible catching attribute. He's still going to get interceptions. But the play recognition, this is something where I almost recommend that people user control the safety card because he has such good speed and acceleration with the strength and everything like that, that if you user him and you are kind of trying to play off of the opposing quarterback and, and kind of spy them almost, you can make a ton of plays and you can crush running backs with that hit power, that 92 hit power. Yeah, it's not elite. It's not the best at the position because, you know, there are so many crazy cards at, at the safety positions. But for the cards that are, like I said, available to most people at, at a reasonable price, 
This is an absolute monster. I highly, highly recommend Mike Mitchell. And I think you guys are going to kind of laugh here in a minute because we're actually going to go over to our last card in this episode of the budget series. And it's one that we've already seen before. That's right. Strong safety, 94 overall this time. And it is the Carolina Panthers playoff edition of the Mike Mitchell card. Yeah, again, I, I yeah, this is the same card that was in the original budget series. It's actually dropped in price quite a bit since that original budget series came out. And now you're looking at spending less than 5,000 coins on it on just about every console. You can get it around 3,000 in most cases. And look at these attributes. The only thing, like I said, again, same thing as, as the last slide, because basically that last card, the free agent card, was basically an upgraded version of this card. It's, it's pretty much a couple better, one or two better in every attribute. But this card is an absolute beast too. 93 zone coverage, 92 speed, 94 acceleration. I mean, it just doesn't get a whole lot better than this. And he's six foot one too, so he's not short. He doesn't really have any areas where he's terrible. The catching, like I said, it's unfortunate that he's he's not going to be going up and getting a ton of interceptions. But anybody that's used Mike Mitchell a lot can probably tell you he gets more interceptions than you'd imagine. That 64 uh, catching for whatever reason doesn't really seem to be that much of a factor when I've used him. And I, I just cannot find for the money a better safety under probably 20,000 coins. Honestly, I really can't. I mean, I, I sat and looked and looked and looked. I looked at these attributes and I tried to find something that was a, a significantly better enough card that I could recommend it and still have it be within this budget series, but I just wasn't able to do it. So again, I'm going to recommend this Mike Mitchell card. Uh, there are a couple versions of this card, so it, it is definitely one that remains affordable even after I put out these videos, because I know a couple people have said that once I put out these videos that the cards kind of skyrocket for a couple of days, but it, this one really shouldn't. There are enough versions of it that it should be plenty to go around for everybody. So everybody enjoy Mike Mitchell. And if you have a couple more coins, upgrade to that free agency edition because it's an absolute monster. With that being said, guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and learned something about the safety position in Madden. If you did, make sure you press that like button below and also leave a comment for me, guys. I want to know what other safeties you guys recommend, which ones are you using right now, and if there are any uh, other budget safeties that I should be aware of. Also, if you've utilized any of these cards, leave your own little review for it in the comment section below if you would. I would greatly appreciate it, and I'm sure the other people that are watching this video would as well. What position now do you guys want to see in the budget series next? Make sure you leave that in the comment section below as well, and I will be looking into that and probably selecting the position that we're going to examine closer in uh, the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.